Alright, hi and welcome to the fifth episode. So in the last episode I, uh, I asked you to choose a new hair color for me and so you did a very good job. All, over 120 people voted for the white color. That's a very good vote. But however, there was one guy in the chat who wrote something about giving me a haircut and I was like, ah oh, sure, that's never gonna happen, Mr. Neo. Neo. But what would I know? The next day he wrote to me to choose a number between 1 and 3 and 1 and 4. So I did what any one sense human would do. I, I rolled for it, of course. F very fairly, I must say. So the number I randomly got was 1 and 2. And so he met up with me and he actually gave me a, a haircut. A very nice haircut also, it was a, a blue one. So I guess thank you a lot Neo for this kind offer. But since so many of you voted, I actually decided we could do it like this. So the shaman gets the white colored hair. So now we get a blue haired and the white haired. Perfect. This is gonna be awesome. So today I'm gonna upgrade my armor, my earrings, because I really need to upgrade my stuff a bit. So here I'm gonna upgrade the ebony earrings, and these are the stuff that you need for it. I fished and I got a lot of clams, and I also killed a lot of orcs, so I got both the orc tooth for the ebony earrings and for the armor, the level 34 armor. And as you can see, you should also push the leadership books, the Sun Sea Out of War. I began doing that, that's also a good thing. Okay, so here I've prepared a lot of ebony earrings and a lot of 34 lethal plate armors so that I can upgrade. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I just start by making all of these plus four. Let's skip that. Okay, plus six. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to make one plus eight to plus nine directly. Oof. I made one plus eight. This is the most expensive one. Come on. Oh, oh well. 1 plus 8 or 1 plus 9. No reason to upgrade all of them because I don't have the upgrading items to, to cover all of them. Okay, plus 6 at least. Come on, okay, plus, plus 7, come on. Yes, one more. Just one more and I will be happy. Oh, this is the expensive one. Two orc tooths and one clam, come on. No! Shit! Okay, plus seven again. Okay, good. Okay, come on. Just one plus eight. Yes! There we go. Alright, good. So I'm just gonna keep this for now. So I don't throw everything away because I really need it if I'm gonna... If I don't have anything else. It's good for farming. Good strength for... Warrior, come on, another one plus eight. Yes, okay, I got two plus eight. Let's try, I, I gotta try one plus nine. I can try two plus nine, I can try one, okay. Come on, I have two, I don't need two plus eight. Come on, no, oh well. <sighs> I needed to try anyway. Oh well, okay, I got one plus eight. That will be good for now. I wanna spare my items, so I I got some upgrading items for the armors as well. I think I need to buy some more though. Plus 8 is pretty good. 11 strength, that's good for the Hour of Sword. Okay, so I bought some more items. So I can upgrade my armor. And I actually have this armor with already two bonuses on them. So I'm just gonna try to upgrade it with my free Blessing Scrolls. Because I'm gonna add some bonuses to it later. And it's better if it has two bonuses already. Because then I only need two of them to... Add, and then maybe I add a blessing marble to get a fifth bonus as well. So I'm gonna just try to upgrade this one. Let's. I just go with plus three stones now as well because meh, the other ones are too expensive. The plus four one are way too expensive. So let's see if I can attach these stones. They are a real pain, as you can see. Okay, so I got the. Evasion plus three on, nice. Okay, plus five again, come on. I got a lot of piece of gems from farming in map two, so that's good. Okay, so I found a lot of haste plus three here, kinda cheap. But they just don't want to success. Okay, plus six. Okay, okay, I will satisfy for, come on, haste, haste, no, ah. 
be pretty fine if I get it to plus 7. I think that'll be enough for quite a while. Well, of course. Can I get the haste? Of course not. Okay, so there's two more haste here. Just continue. Plus 6. No. Haste? No! Uh, the shop got one more. Oh, okay, so we're down to... Oh, plus 4. No, plus 3. But the haste can... Cannot success. Yay, plus 4. Woo Let's trade it over. I found another haste kind of sheep. Come on. You can do it. Aha! Haste plus 3 attached. Okay, so let's trade it over for another character with the free blessing scrolls and let's try to make it plus 7. Come on. Alright, here we go. Plus 5. Fun! Ah, plus 4. Yay. Plus 5. No. Yes, finally. Plus 6. Okay, one more. One more and I'll be happy. And then I can attach some bonuses. I just want to have bonuses. Come on. Yes, finally. Oh, okay, I'm satisfied with this. Plus 7 is good for now. Let's open the chests and get our bonuses that we get from level 40 from the chest. Okay, here we go. We just need to add two of these out of... We have three. We just need to add two of them. And I think we can do it. It's often pretty easily. Okay, so here we go. Come on. Alright, fan defense one. We just need one more. Come on. Ah, uh, no upgrade. One last one. Come on, please. No! Ah, uh, no, I need to make another level 40 character to get new bonuses. God damn it. So it's a good thing to begin your biologist quest to submit the orc tooths because they take quite some time, so it's good to start early. There was another Moonlight chest event, and I only played for about half an hour or so, so I, I only managed to get about 20 of them, but that's alright. Oh look, a shield. Wait, what? I got a blackout shield! Look at this! I got a shield with blackout! That never happens! Holy cow! Damn, I must be lucky! Shit! So if you're just gonna make a buffing shaman, it's better to take Dex, Dexterity as the next stat after Intelligence, because it increases the Blessing buff. So there was another event where the Medin Stones and bosses dropped the Enchant item, the Bonus Changer. So I tried going to map 1 with the level 10 character, and this was the equipment I used on this level 10 character. And it turned out to be pretty good. Oh, also don't forget to be part of a guild so that you can donate EXP so you don't increase in level too much. So I managed to get about 4 of these enchant item bonus changers, which was pretty okay. And this is a quite a okay method for people who lost everything, they lost all their cash, all their money. They can just go back to the map one and get some skill books, farm them from the Medin Stones. Because it's quite easy to find Medin Stones. There aren't a lot of people farming here. So that's pretty good. One important tip for you is that it exists one set of missions that is really good to do because they give you a lot of experience, a lot of levels for like for very little work. So they're called the diary pages. And so you see you can do them at both level 32, 40, 47, 50 and 55. And if you look at this, you get so much experience, 1 million experience. So in a really short amount of time you can get almost a third or a half of the required experience for that level. So they are very good missions, you should really do these. So a lot of people can't find these quests because they haven't done the quests that need to be done before this quest. So what you do is you go to missions and you click on the main missions. You click on the welcome to Medin 2 if you haven't done that already. And you go and talk to the city guard. And the city guard has a few very simple tasks for you, like killing wild dogs. And then he's gonna send you over to the captain. And the captain needs you to go to map 2 to talk to Yuhu 1. And then you go back to the captain, basically. 
and then the captain wants you to kill alpha grey wolves which spawns from Madden of Battle. So just go to the Madden of Battle and kill until you finish the mission. But don't kill the stone because you go back to the captain, you say okay I've killed the dogs and then he tells you to kill a Madden of Battle. So you just go back to the same stone, kill it and then you can go back to the captain and you're good to go to get done with the missions. Another good tip here is because you're gonna travel a lot between map 1 and map 2 that you can use the teleporter, go to this place and then use the next teleporter to go to map 2. And you can do it the other way around, so it's a fast way of traveling. Alright, that's everything for me today. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Ta -lo.